fit right into it. Let's begin by selecting the desired shape. We'll select the square for starters. As seen by the instructions along the top, we can either enter the length of one of the sides or the diagonal length. We'll enter a side length of two. Notice that the calculation was performed as soon as we entered the required number of inputs. Obviously, pressing a convert button is not necessary. Another feature seen here is the calculation of the diagonal length in addition to the area and perimeter. Watch how easy it is to enter diagonal length. Notice how the calculator clears the other input box and calculates the area, perimeter, and side length. To add the current area result to the running total, press the sigma icon. Press add. Note that multiple shapes can be added and subtracted from this running total. To subtract the area from the total, press subtract. To clear the running total, press clear. To exit, press close. Other shapes work the same way. Let's now select the segment of a circle. Select the circles category. And let's select the circle segment. This time we are instructed to enter any two inputs. We'll enter a radius of 7 first, as the order does not matter. We'll enter 11 for the arc length. In addition to the area and perimeter, all the other parameters are immediately calculated. Notice the angle of 90 degrees was calculated for the angle. We may want to use radians rather than degrees. This is easy to do. Press the degree text label. Notice the value is now about half the value of pi, equivalent to the 90 degrees seen previously. One more time saving feature. When we change categories, the area calculator remembers the last shape used in each category. While you're using the area calculator, look for the latest notifications relevant to this application or our other useful product releases. What's more, if you come up with any ideas or suggestions, you can leave us feedback directly from the info screen. Pressing send will open an instance of the web browser, sending us the message automatically. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial.